Welcome back. The drone program at Texas A&M Corpus Christi is busy these days, delivering packages and flying emergency response missions. The drone team in Flower Bluff also does a lot of pipeline and utility overflights. Yeah, it's all part of their research efforts to show that drones can fly effectively and safely in our airspace. Our Michael Gibson tonight has more on the program's latest project, which is a deal to move some of those flights out to the International Airport. A&M Corpus Christi's drone program is all but set to take over this hangar out at the International Airport as it looks to expand its presence in the coastal bend. Ty Payne is the Assistant Director of Operations Testing and Evaluation here at the University's Lone Star Unmanned Aircraft Systems Center in Flower Bluff. He told us that this hangar location at the airport will allow his team to continue to work on trying to integrate drones into our national airspace. Well, what we were trying to do is work with the uh, Corpus Christi International Airport and with the FAA uh, traffic control facility to really bring that more into uh, fruition. The program has a number of different types of aircraft that it flies. Everything from those drones that you can pick up at an electronics store to some that are fixed wing, 15 feet wide, and can fly up to 18 plus hours at 18,000 feet. Seth Foster is a senior drone pilot who started out in the GIS field collecting geographic information. He says the drones are now the way to go. At a collection it used to be at a very expensive uh, field we had to do with manned aviators, right? We had to, you know, hire helicopters, airplanes, all that stuff. Now we can strap, you know, hundred thousand dollar sensors on aircraft and collect that data in a much more uh, safe and effective environment. Assistant Director Payne told us that he believes this airport deal will be the second of its kind in the entire country. He's hoping that it will lead to the government putting in new rules and regulations to allow drone flights to become more commonplace everywhere. Absolutely, we need flying aircraft for hundreds of miles or controlling aircraft on the west coast from the east coast and vice versa. But the technology is there, it's just a matter of being able to use it. The city council will vote on the plan October the 10th and if approved, would have drones taking off from the airport just like the big commercial jets. Michael Gibson, 3 News. Drones are so fancy and advanced nowadays. Wow, Michael, thank you for that report.